I've been blogging since 2009 and I've built up a fairly popular blog with over 10,000 subscribers and a common question I get is what's the best blog posting schedule? So how often should you post? And the answer I give is always the same and it is that the best schedule is the one you can keep. So if you think you can write three posts per week, if you push yourself and you're just getting started, go with once a week. Choose something that you know you can do because what matters more than quantity is quality and consistency. So I started out, when I started my blog, I started by writing three posts per week and I kept that up for maybe six months before I realized that I was sacrificing quality. So I felt the pressure to constantly come up with new blog posts and it was getting stressful. So I scaled back to once per week and that's what I've been doing since 2010. So that's quite a few years now and it's been working well for me. So think about what you can do and what you wanna do. What trips people up is they think they should do something in order to get somewhere. So maybe someone tells you that if you want to build a successful blog, you need to blog at least five times per week. So then you feel all this pressure and you feel that, okay, I have to muster up the motivation to post five times per week if I want to be successful. But the thing is that you can be successful with any posting schedule or frequency. There are even people out there that don't, don't have a regular schedule. So they post a new post when they have something to say. And if that's you, then do that. Start there. And some people don't even have a blog. They may just have an article page with their latest article. So don't think that you should do anything because you don't. All you have to do is follow what feels magnetic to you and what feels alive because I'm assuming you want to blog because you enjoy blogging. You want to get into it, you want to connect with people, you want to help people. So follow what feels good to you. And go easy on yourself. Start with the blog posting schedule that you know you can do. Don't try to push yourself, but start small and see how things go. Because the biggest mistake you can make is to try to be someone you're not. Not everyone can write a blog post every day. Some people are made for longer posts, so, so they enjoy writing 3,000 word pieces that are highly detailed and very specific and well-researched. And you may only be able to create one of those pieces once a month. So if that's you, then start there. But whatever pressures you feel, you don't have to feel because that's self-inflicted. It's a thought that you believe. And often it's advice from outside that you've chosen to accept because you think it'll get you somewhere. So the best blog posting schedule is the one you can keep. And if you can't keep a schedule, then forget about keeping a schedule. What matters is that you put your work out there as best you can. So if you haven't started a blog, start your blog, start writing, start experimenting and see where things go. And if you need help with this, come on over to wakeupcloud.com and remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this.